Okay guys, Big Slick here and it's product review time. Today we have the Audi Bike Make Bicycle Computer. This is one of the cheap wired computers. It is not wireless. It's very easy to install. Okay, so what are the features of this computer? Number one, you have a speedometer. It tells you maximum speed, average speed, speed comparison, speed tendency, tripometer, odometer, riding time, clock, which can be displayed 24 or 12 hour display, automatic on off, automatic start, scanning function, the readout can be in kilometers or miles. The odometer can be entered manually and it has a temperature readout in Fahrenheit or Celsius and calorie expenditure. So let's take a look at it. Okay, I have one of these on both of my bicycles as you can see in the video here. Okay, let's look at this one first. They're both the same, so we'll just concentrate on one of them. Okay, right now you should see the time. It shows 6.42 here, and it's going zero. The only reason it's on is because I pressed the button and had recently been moving the wheels. So as you press the button, you cycle through the right side button. You cycle through. Right now the odometer reads 1,037 miles, which is what I have on this bike since I purchased this in April. Then this is a trip odometer is the second one. I think I did, obviously I reset that at one point. By resetting it, you just hold down on one of these buttons and it'll reset back to zero. And then there's a few other readings here that quite honestly are not something that most people are going to use. Um, trip time. This is temperature. The temperature is something that is very inaccurate on these computers. Uh, it's almost worthless to be honest with you. If it's overcast day and just all the stars are shining right it may be somewhat accurate right now it's reading almost 75 degrees that's actually pretty close but normally this number is way high I mean it can read 110 or 120 degrees on a 90 some degree day so it is really off as far as that goes I wouldn't even mess with it it's just going to be a fictitious reading another thing that is of no use at all is this calorie burned. Th this number is just an average and really t doesn't, it's not going to be very useful to you. Just forget this because if you're riding a lot downhill or you're riding a lot of level, this number is going to be overestimated. If you're climbing hills, this number is going to be underestimated. So it's just not worthwhile. But as far as if you want to have the time, you want to have your speed, and you want to have your mileage kept track of how much you're riding each year, it's a super useful device. So what can I tell you about it? Whenever you first set this up, it's not obvious. You actually have to remove the battery and put the battery back in. It does come with the battery. But the reason you have to do that is you have to set the uh, what is one revolution of the front tire you need to measure it out on the ground let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about okay in order to take this measurement that is critical in order to determine the proper mileage that your wheel is traveling what you're going to do first is you will rotate your front wheel until say for example your valve is at the bottom then you'd put a line on the, the ground right there and then you rotate the wheel one full turn straight until the valve is back down directly at the bottom boom you put a line there and then you measure between those two lines okay once you get that measurement you're going to make that measurement in millimeters or convert whatever number you get into millimeters. And then you enter that into the computer, which 
was already in setup mode whenever you would pop the battery out and popped it back in. That is the most critical number you're going to enter there, and really the only one that matters. It'll also tell you to enter your weight, it'll tell you to enter your height, and a few things like that. It's almost irrelevant. The only thing that you're going to want to enter that's important is you're going to want to enter that number that you measured correctly because without entering that correctly you really have no chance of having the mileage be correct now the little sender unit is very easy to install it just connects straight down onto the fork by this wire which is connected to the base so you just tuck the wire with some zip lines in order to keep it nice against the fork you bring it down and you tuck it here inside any place you can in any direction really doesn't matter as long as when it comes around that this magnet that you're going to mount on the spoke will come up and interact with this without hitting it whenever the wheel rotates so it's very simple to install now the price of this unit was only I actually got one of these on clearance as you saw in the package for two dollars and ninety nine cents I mean seriously it was this was on discount on clearance but you're not going to get that for that price every day the normal price is six dollars and ninety nine cents and for that price it is a total bargain so ultimately let's do some summaries of the pros and cons of this LD BikeMate bike computer. One of the pros is price. A second pro is it comes in a variety of colors. Uh, I have both a gray one and a black one. I think it actually might even come in one other color, but it's enough that you can find something that's going to match your bike pretty well. A third pro is that the battery is included. And most importantly, I would say is that if you're just using it for the clock, to have the clock with you and to have keep track of the miles you've rode just for those two features alone now the one plus. issue that you will have if you change tires and put a tire on that has a different height to the sidewall such as for example on this other bike early this year on this one the black bike black and silver bike I was riding knobbies on it. The knobbies had a wider sidewall on it. And I measured out and set the computer based upon those wider tires. When I installed after about 100 miles of riding off road, I decided that, that was, I was kind of fed up with it and wanted to go back to my normal street riding. So when I put this set of just street tires on this bike, they have a much more narrow wall to them which means that there's they're not as tall so the problem with that was that right now the mileage is not perfectly accurate on it it's not a big issue it's not off by a ton but it is off because there's no way to reset it without resetting from scratch back to zero the uh, mileage that you've already accumulated so if you want to keep your current mileage intact there's no way to reset the computer on that wheelbase. So that is unfortunate. I, I actually say that's a big negative if you're the type of person that swaps different tires a lot. You know, that's going to be a problem. I guess you could always write down what your old number was. Uh, it says you're, that you can punch in a number to start out with for the odometer, but I haven't figured out how to do that. I, I'm not sure whether that's even accurate or not, but if you can, well, then it's just inconvenient. You should be able to just hit a button and reset that, though, without having to clear the entire computer. Okay, so what are the cons of this? One of the major cons of this device, and it's only a minor con, but if you notice, you'll see a lot of reflections in this based upon how it the screen is very glossy so when you're riding during the day and it's sunny the sun just reflects off of this into your face like a mirror that that's a huge 
you know, negative. Now, obviously, it's an easy solution, so what I tend to do is I will just get this and turn it sideways a little bit. And so then, obviously, you're looking at it at an angle, and the reflections are bouncing off the side on it. So, I mean, it's a negative. This should have a matte screen on it. They also call it an anti-glare screen. It should have that. I mean, right now, this is a bummer if you keep it directly on you. You will get reflection. It will be annoying right in your eyes. Uh, the second thing, that, like I said before, the temperature sensor is way off. Totally inaccurate. Uh, I mean, it can be so far off, it can be 10, 15 degrees off easily. And that's, I actually have three of these on bicycles now. And I have a fourth one that's still in the package, but all three of the other ones, they're consistent in being inaccurate on the temperature rating. Temperature is totally a non-starter on this. It's a joke. And like I said before, the calorie burn number is, that's basically a novelty. Uh, if you get something out of it, great. But in all honesty, that's just, that's a joke. That's a toy. But overall, what do we think of it? It is, I say it's an excellent product for the money. You can pop these off if it starts to rain and you're worried about it. You can just press down and you can slide the computer off right here and stick it in your pocket or put it in a car. So that works well. And to put it back on, you just pop it in here. And push it until you hear it click that makes sure it's in contact with the sensors underneath uh, they give you I think six zip ties in order to mount it with in my experience you're probably going to need more because you may decide that you didn't like where you first mounted it at or that you screwed a couple up and decided to redo it so I would have on a selection of smaller medium sized zip ties because you're probably going to need them. But overall, I give this product two thumbs up. I mean, it is really excellent for the money. Uh, Eldis has hit a home run with this. For the value, you can't go wrong. I mean, yeah, you can get a fancy, expensive bike computer, and if you want a gadget that does a lot more things, then by all means, get something more expensive. If you just want something simple, lightweight, I mean, that's a big advantage here, that if you're a weight weenie, this adds almost nothing. I mean, you're talking probably less than two ounces. I didn't weigh it out of the package, but seriously, I mean, it's almost like a big wristwatch. So, I mean, you're not adding any weight to your bike. So that's a big plus. And simple, I like simple. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a device that does one or two things and does it well without a bunch of bullshit and that's what this does I, mean, I set it normally just to show the time and with one click you get to the odometer but like I say you can flick through and get to all the other settings if you want you can also set it to automatically scan which is that mode right there and it'll automatically scan through your different numbers as you see right there while you're ride riding I actually find that mode to be distracting because if I look down, I want to mostly just see the speed that I'm going at and I probably want to see the time. I don't want to see anything else. And if, when I want to see the odometer, I'll just go from the time, click once, get to the odometer. That is the Audi BikeMate bicycle computer. Like I say, they do make a wireless computer that I've seen for sale some years. I haven't tried that one. I haven't heard good things about it. Seems like that might be not the greatest product. But this cheap wired computer, like I say, two thumbs up. Simply cannot beat it for your money. Easy installation. Accurate. If I could do one thing on it, I would make this screen anti-glare that would be a huge addition to this that would make it an absolute 10 out of 10 product in my opinion right now I'd say it's around an eight and a half out of 10 so I mean that's still a good product highly recommended for the price if you want to keep track of your mileage if you want to have a clock with you without having to screw around with your cell phone or something all the time 
uh, this is the way to go. Highly recommended. Pick one up when you get a chance. Like I say, this is a product that generally comes out in April at Aldi's. Uh, the, in fact, the package on the clearance model I have there on the back even says April 2016. So uh, next year, I'm sure it'll say April 2017 or the year after that, April 2018. That's when they get their bicycle products in. And so that's when you're going to want to take a look start watching the ads, hitting stores, see what they have available to make your rides more enjoyable. So I hope this helped you out. Like I say, if you're getting stuck setting this up, you got to take the battery out, let wait a couple seconds for it to drain out, put the battery back in. That'll get you to that setup screen where you have to enter the wheelbase. That's the most critical part of setting this up, and it's not obvious by reading the instructions. Beyond that, it's extremely simple to set up and I think you're going to like it. Great addition to any bike. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.